Hey guys, Carly here. Okay, so yesterday I spoke to a new client who wanted to book in with me for um, a Reiki treatment and also to learn Reiki. Sorry, someone just called me. Um, we've been speaking to someone, we've been speaking to each other for a while and um, and she she was asking me a few questions yesterday and then she apologized for asking the questions and I said to her, no, I, I think that's actually really important. You know, the kind of questions that she was asking was, um, how long had I been practicing Reiki for? What kind of things do I do with my own energy? Um, you know, what do I think is the source of Reiki? And um, and I think they're all really important questions. And, and I said to her, actually, I, I really, you know, I think it's great that you're asking these questions because I don't think enough people ask these kind of questions. At the end of the day, you're inviting someone into your energy field if you're going to them for a treatment. And if you're learning something like Reiki with them, then you're inviting them in a much more powerful way where they're going to be doing an attunement on you um, which is changing the the nature of your energy field. I think it's really important to ask that person questions about how do they protect their energy? What kind of energy are they going to be bringing to you um, and sharing with you and involving your energy in? So in my mind, you should be asking questions like what kind of things do um, does that person do to clear to keep their own energy vibration high and what how how long has that person been practicing energy work for so if you're going to them for um to learn reiki or to learn any kind of energy work ask them how long have they been practicing that particular brand of energy work for how long have they been teaching it for how long had their teacher been teaching it for you know i i've been teaching reiki now for 11 sorry 10 years i've been practicing it for 11 years and I really got into it um, as soon as I started. So I was seeing up to three people a night sometimes after work um, to really get the, the experience behind me. You know, I, I, I don't think that the experience comes at all from just going to a workshop. It comes from the doing of it. So it's really important to find out how, how much practice has this person had? Um, do they know how to keep their energy clear? because you know you are mixing your energy with them so it's really important that you know this stuff um i think all too often people will just go and book in for a treatment with someone and, and not necessarily think about that person and their energy um if you're so if you're going to be learning uh, an energy modality with that person yeah find out how long they've been doing it for and and ask them about their journey as well with that you know i when i started teaching 10 years ago it was at first to friends for a good year, um, friends and friends and friends. I did it all for free. I just really wanted to experience the teaching. I knew that I couldn't be a Reiki master without being mastered by Reiki myself. So I've been teaching now for 10 years and I see lots of Reiki practitioners popping up who are teaching um, and charging full price for workshops after not having done it for very long. That's fine, that's their thing, but you know, if you're going to be learning from someone um, who is doing that, just please find out from them how much experience they have. You know, you're going to be learning this modality from them. And I guess it's it's also about how seriously you want to take this in your own life. Is it something that you want to do professionally? Do you want to run a business from it? Do you want to be doing it full time? Or is it just a hobby, a side hobby for you? Um, so really ask those questions of yourself and, and of this person and and go with your gut feeling, go with what resonates with you. I think this is really important when you're dealing with energy and you know, just like that there's good and bad in the world, there's also positive energy and negative energy and you are inviting that person into your energy field. Make sure it's a positive exchange for you. Um, yeah, that's really all I have to say on that today. Thanks guys.